After telling them about the signs of his coming, Jesus then looked for an illustration that will help them to occupy until he came. And this was the parable of the talents. And in this parable, we noticed something that is very important. The master decides to leave them and he gives them talents when he has left. He doesn't tell them what to do, but he tells them to occupy until he came. So when we look at this, faithfulness doesn't happen in the presence of the master, but faithfulness happens in the absence of the master. And our master has gone home to glory and he has left us with talents and he wants us to multiply that which has been given to us. But that is dependent upon the relationship that we have with the master. When you look at the two other servants, the relationship that they had with the master helped them to multiply the talents that they had. But this one servant had a skewed, a mad relationship with his master. Because of that, he defined the Lord as somebody who is wicked, who rips where he has not sown, whose ideas are far-fetched, whose standards are too high. And such a people are present today. They live with a distorted image of the master. And when they look at the offering plate, they say, I cannot give you this because you are a hard master. You reap where you have not sown. You want to get things that belong to me. And so I won't give you those things. And so when we look at this parable, we realize that God is saying, you are my children. I am not around, but I want you to do something that is very important. And your creativity is called for. And this creativity is killed by fear. But when you are hooked and, and depending upon the Lord, the Lord is going to help you to occupy until he comes.